Hello, hello. Today is March 3rd, 2023, and the word of the day is spirit. And the card of the day is Knight of Cups reversed. And so first I'm going to discuss the word, and then I'm going to talk about the card. And spirit. So, of course, there's like the negative side of spirit and the positive side of spirit. Not that that spirit is good or bad. Spirit is good. However, we can be under the spirit of fear. We can be under the spirit of oppression. We can be under the spirit of anger. We can be under the spirit of alcohol. Uh, it, or we could be under the spirit of joy, of kindness, of self-control, of compassion, of generosity, of understanding. So it's just what part of the pull are you on? And a good way to see what where you're at is to check in with yourself emotionally and how you're feeling. So if you're feeling like under the spirit of anger, you would want to move into the spirit of forgiveness. However, that's not so easy to do, especially if you don't have any tools. And so I've shared some of the tools that you can use in some of these videos. And also you can reach out to people that do this work. If you seem to be stuck under some kind of spirit that you can't shake, that you can't seem to move out from under. But if you're in a spirit that's positive and good and, and you're happy, then then uh, I would encourage you to jump even higher because even the skies, you know, there's no limit to how far you can go, right? It's, it's limitless to how much joy, bliss, ecstasy you can be feeling and enjoying in your life. And so when I pulled this card, I thought, oh my God. So basically this is a night, generally the night upward is a really good thing, right? A night in sh shining armor. And why this is a good thing, because this person is on the positive side of the pole, meaning they come with love. They come with true intentions. They are in touch and honest about their feelings. They are connected. They are one with their inside and outside. They say who they are, they are who they say. However, the cups in reverse, the king of cups in reverse is the opposite. So basically this person is emotionally empty. Basically, this person does is not in control of their emotions. They will tend to project their issues onto you. And especially if they are someone who uses alcohol, they will lose really their temper very easily, uh, go off on you, attack you, blame everyone but themselves for their lack of emotional honesty. So this is all about emotional honesty, being honest with the self. So this could be you, or this could be someone that you know. And basically the best way that I can describe this person is if they are drunk, you just actually wanna leave the room because they will pummel you they really push people out of their lives by their addiction. That's on the worst side. But generally this person, it's, 
it's not like they're a liar, but they lie to themselves. And so they're not honest with themselves. And that comes out in their relationship with others. And for whatever reason, they're not feeling safe to communicate their emotions, their feelings. And they, they're afraid of judgment by they're judging themselves. They're judging others, whether they've had a trauma before where they hadn't felt safe to communicate their feelings, but nonetheless, this denotes an older, like a person of maturity is what I'm saying. They're not a child. When a person's a child, that's one thing, but as an adult, we have to take responsibility for our feelings and we have to be honest with ourselves in how we feel and be able to communicate that to others in a way that is constructive. And if that person does not want to listen to you, you can write your feelings in a journal or communicate uh, communicate them with a trusted person. Or you can write a letter to this person and there's more to writing the letter. There's a process if you wanna break ties with this person and basically uh, you would it's a ritual, basically. Maybe I'll do it in another video at another time because I actually would have to go through the process and, and explain it to you how it's done and how to clear that person out of your life if you no longer want them in your life. However, this person, even though they have issues with dealing with their emotions, they could turn around and become the, the night that they're here to be. However, I would encourage you to keep your distance and go slowly with this person. And uh, because they are not emotionally safe, they are emotionally empty and will cause you pain. So that's all I have for you today. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.